for the crime scene, where do you find the fingerprints and how do you collect them? Um, so fingerprints could be found practically on any solid surface, including like a human body. Um, analysts usually classify fingerprints into three broad categories, uh, which is like a vis if they are visible or not. Um, so the broad classifications would be visible prints, latent prints, or patent prints. Um, visible prints are formed uh, when blood, dirt, ink, or paint is transferred from your finger or thumb to the surface. So there is a, a color that you usually see associated with the print. Uh, patent prints could be found on variety of surfaces, um, such as smooth or a rough surface, porous surfaces like paper, cloth, or wood, or non-porous surfaces like metals, glass, plastics. Um, so those those classifications, those uh, look uh, items fall under patent prints, uh, items mm -hmm. that uh, fingerprints could be found on, um, and latent prints are. Um, basically formed when your body's natural oils and sweat uh, on the skin are deposited on a surface. Um, the, the thing about latent prints are they are not visible. Uh, so mm. you need an external source um, of light or uh, dusting them um, uh, to make them visible through naked eyes, which is a good transition because the second part of the question where you were asked about how do we collect this kind of prints, um, so let me just start with talking about um, visible prints first, uh, which are summer, which you can see with the ink, blood, and other kind of colored materials. So what the best way to do is either have an alternate light source um, along with the fingerprint and put a scale uh, right to your fingerprint impression and take taking photographs. Um, for example, if it's a bloody print, then you can swab it later for... Um, once you have photographed it, you can swap it later for DNA or any other right. um, testing. Uh, patent prints is also pretty straightforward in collecting is the same way uh, is doing a photo photography as well. Um, so like I said, you put um, a scale and take a photograph with some uh, high resolution photographs with some light in it. Uh, collecting fingerprints is something that's interesting and kind of difficult because you don't see them through your naked eye. So you have to kind right. of uh, enhance them. So way to enhance uh, this fingerprints is uh, using like a black granular powder, like a fingerprint powder, or okay. aluminum flakes, or like black magnetic powders. Um, so when you put all these powders on um, the fingerprint, of course, there are many other ways to do it, but this is just a few examples, then right. the prints appear. So once they appear, you put a scale, you take a photographs, and you lift them from the surface with a clear adhesive tape. And the lifting is then placed on a, a latent lift card. Um, so like imagine it to be like a white sheet of paper with a card, like card, and you put it on, mm -hmm. you place them, and you preserve the print. Um, so these mm -hmm. are the different ways you can um collect different types of fingerprints in question. Of course, it's much broader, but just an idea about how they're collected. Right, gotcha, gotcha. 